Um, so in this video, I will be going over how to download um, TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim as well as cover just some other ideas and basic things you can get started um, researching and things like that in the beginning of your trading journey. I'll be covering TD Ameritrade just because that's what I use, that's what I'm familiar with, and I wouldn't really want to make a video on something I'm not familiar with. There are great um, brokerages out there as well, such as Robinhood and Weeble, and a couple other. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend any of them um, just because I'm more experienced with TD Ameritrade and there's just a couple of things I don't like about um, other platforms like um, like Robinhood and Weeble, uh, but feel free to do your own research and figure out which one's the best for you. So let's go ahead and hop into the computer and get this going. I'll go ahead and have this linked in the description below so you don't even have to go looking for it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go to this um, paper money option here so we can go ahead and get our free paper trading account um, existing TD Ameritrade account so if you're on this video it's probably going to be a no go ahead cool <clears throat> then you're going to get all this stuff that comes up and you can go ahead and just fill this out um, with all of your information I'll go ahead and just speed through that for the purpose of this video so on trading experience you can go ahead and select whatever you want probably going to be these and then I will go ahead and select all of the products. Um, it doesn't really make a huge difference, um, but you can go ahead and select those. And then we do not have an existing brokerage account in this case. All right, so we have gone ahead and created our account. And now we're going to go ahead and install Think or Swim for desktop. So you can go ahead and choose whichever one is the right one for you. Perfect, so once you have downloaded Thinkorswim for desktop, you will get this little thingy on your screen, and then you can just go ahead and input your username and password. All right, so go ahead and agree to all, accept and proceed. Let's get this going here. All right, and then you'll end up on this weird page. You don't, I'd never use any of this garbage. Um, we'll go ahead and just clean this up. Um, go to charts here on the top, just get rid of that. Uh, Trader TV, I've never used that ever. Quick chart, you might use that every once in a while. Um, the same with the rest of the stuff. I'll just go ahead and minimize it just because it's kind of a lot. But here you go, you are in. And this is the first really big step. So we'll go ahead and uh, type in a ticker symbol here. Uh, let's go ahead and do TQQQ. Um, I trade this pretty often. It's an ETF based off of the NASDAQ. Um, I might be going over some of my trades on this in the future and create a watch list. So we'll go ahead and do that really quick here. Um, so we just go ahead and put um, current watch list. You can go ahead and add symbols. Um, we'll add TQQ. Um, let's add um, Apple on this bad boy. Um, and then you can really just go ahead and add whatever you want onto here. Um, and then I'll go ahead and populate here on the side. And then you can also uh, link these to the chart with these little um, colored buttons here. Um, I can do a more in-depth uh, tutorial if you guys want. Um, this is just kind of super basic just so you can get a general idea of how to get onto Thinkorswim. There is a lot of information out there um, on the internet about different kinds of setups and stuff. <clears throat> your chart and then your active trader over here do um, buy and sell and all that kind of stuff. Um, with your orders and everything. Um, so this is like the first big uh, starting step to just kind of get familiar with um, kind of the trading platform and how it works. Just kind of the reactions on my first couple of videos, everyone pretty much wanted to know more about getting started in the stock market and more about it. So it looks like that's kind of the direction we're gonna go for a little bit here. And that was episode three of Business Talks. Peace out guys. I want to go ahead and hop into um, my trading account. So that was a trade I was able to make $115 on just in a couple of minutes.